Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, once again, welcome to my channel. Please do well to subscribe to my channel if you've not done that. And um, also for those who have subscribed already, thank you, thank you for being part of this community. And um, uh, for those who have not subscribed, subscribing will help you to get notifications of new tutorials each time they come up. So today we'll be we'll be handling predicting pressure gradient across pipeline using aspen heises um we all know that if there's no flow across the pipeline all right it's it's a big problem um so it's aspen heises will help you to know prior to um installation of, of your facility or your pipeline as the case may be it will help you to to know the pressure gradients across the pipeline. All right, with that, you'll be able to know if there will be flow across the pipeline or not. All right, if there won't be flow, if you have um, negative pressure across the pipeline, what it entails is that you might need you might need to apply pressure at the um, um, from the uh, from the beginning of, of the process. Okay, you, you might need to use uh, a pump to increase the pressure. Or that is if you're handling a liquid or you might need to use a compressor if you're handling a gas so this was what we modeled in the previous tutorial okay um, a, a, a hydro um, heavy hydrocarbon all right heavy hydrocarbon being transported across 2,000 kilometer pipeline okay so for us to check the pressure um, gradients we need to double click on the pressure um, on the pipeline and then we'll go to performance so click on performance and click on view profile view profile all right so from here you can see that across each lens you have pressure so you can see that um, the, the pressure entering the pipeline from um, the inlet is 20 bar Okay, 100 meter from the inlet, it, it, it dropped to about 19.7709, and it, keep, it kept dropping till um, it got to the exit as a 2,000 kilometer. All right, that's where you have the 15.4157, approximately um, 15.42 uh, bar. Okay, but if you're modeling your pipeline and you discover that somewhere along this line you're having negative pressure. And what it means is that even the pipe will not solve okay it won't solve telling you that there is a problem with your simulation all right there's a problem with your simulation and in most cases it is either the diameter of the pipeline you're using is not um okay um for the uh, uh, for the quantity all right that's the flow rate of the fluid coming in all right so if your pipeline doesn't solve one of the things that can make it not to solve is if the flow rate and the diameter or the diameter cannot handle the flow passing through it it won't solve okay and also the longer the pipeline if the pipeline is long now imagine you're transporting this fluid till about uh, let's say um uh sorry this 2000 meter 2000 meters rather that's um, two kilometers. I'm sorry about that. Two thousand meters. That's two kilometers. Let's assume you're transporting this um, through. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to see. Let's say one thousand kilometers. There's every possibility that this pressure might not. There might not be flow at the end. Okay. That means we might need to increase the flow. Um. Uh. Uh. uh the pressure at the inlet. You get it now. So if you want to check for the profile of the um, the pressure profile or the pressure gradient, this is where you check it, the change in pressure. All right, so you go through it and you should be able to know if there will be flow or not. If there won't be flow, you might need to add, um, boost the pressure from the inlet using a pump or a compressor. All right, so that's for the um, pressure gradient. All right, if you have any question on this, um, all these available to entertain those Christians. Uh, but like I said, um, 
sorry about the mistake uh, in the previous video about the distance of the pipeline it's actually two kilometers not two thousand kilometers that's two thousand meters two kilometers all right thank you for your time and um, please whenever you're working on a project it's very very important you um you always check your project profile when you're working on the pipeline check your pressure it will help you to know if um the um parameters you used are okay for the um, for the modeling if the pressure coming from your facility okay won't be able to get to the desired destination uh, let's say you, you you are expecting this stream to come out at um at uh let's say 30 okay you have 20 bar here and you want to tie into another facility that uh, that has uh, an operating condition of about let's say 30 bar this is 20 bar this is 30 bar definitely you know this is not going to work so what you would do since you have 20 bar you're expecting 30 bar over here is to use a pump to increase the pressure of the inlet and that's the pressure of the um the the um, heavy hydrocarbon you have to increase the pressure to an um to a point where after modeling this what will be coming out from this place will be about 30 bar Did you get it now so this is um how you go about it all right thank you for your time